Hello, this is Farmer George back. I've tried every different bale and even put in the turnips into the pigs feeding area and they're not accepting anything at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive this back to Chantry and then go and take this over to um, see where we are take this from Yatton to Chantry and then we're going to go um, drop the bale the bale uh, spike off and then we'll, we'll maybe have to go and buy ourselves another um, feeding vehicle Yatton to Chantry, why is it going that way? Oh that's it, he's on, he's on course. Fine. And I said I was going to be putting this uh, this cutter head away. And uh, like I said we had a little bit of a crash in the game and I had to um, go back and reload didn't give me a chance to save so if you've seen me put this away just recently sorry about that that was it it's the way it goes sometimes and uh, the next thing to do is to go and start the field wheat field off I know we've got one little corner to do which I'd also said we will um, Yeah, you see I've still got corn in this. I remember I got all the way to the wheat field and the next thing I know I hadn't emptied the the, the corn out of it. Just scratched my wag in there. And I'll just drive backwards while we're going backwards there. Uh, the water butt is back ready to be refilled and send back to the cows because the cows need that more water again and uh, we can get through the gate this time without cracking it one no we could not I usually drive through a bit more carefully than this, but <coughs> some corn to drop off, and there's the wheat field in the distance. Need to refill this and take it back to um, we'll take this back to the actual cow shed to be honest with you. And like I said before, this is the only um, water fill point that I know about apart from the one at the shop. And if you watch the money We've got 295,697 and the money starts going down, which is a bit ridiculous. You're filling it at your own farm. Uh, so, let's have a look at these courses. The Calbra to Chantry is where we want to go. So as soon as that's full, we'll get that back on its, on its route and we'll have the first waypoint set. Whoop, break, 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 break. <sighs> the reason why I don't sit in the vehicle a lot when I'm driving is because 
I hate all this business about uh, having to spin the camera around all the time. It does work on my mouse, but again, it's still quite bitty. If I show you what I mean, we'll turn around with the mouse. <laughs> and, and I mean, look, it's just ridiculous. So I use the keyboard, arrow keys, to spin the camera. Got some good clocks in this actually, considering how basic the model is. I can see that start point there, so I'll just give it a, a well. He'll be okay. He's arrived there. So we'll take his course off. He was going to actually be doing the um, the grass cutting. Surplus to requirements. Now, maybe we've got enough milk. We could have left him back at uh, Chantry and got him to do some more beets, to be honest with you, as well. But if we've got a full wagon load of milk, nearly full, um, I won't bother. I will just uh, don't want him on the first waypoint. Want him on the closest waypoint. nearest waypoint, so why isn't it showing up? It's a Chantry. We're at Chantry. Must have turned off the show Show waypoint, start and end. No, we won't. Show all. Here we go, catch this. I said before I've mentioned that I wish I'd have straightened these lines out a little bit. I was just rushing it when I first got into the game on this particular map. I've never bothered to reset those courses. Right, so now we've got the cattle here. I think next we'll bring pigs. So the cattle goes in this one to the left. We've got 294,302. That's not the way to do it. God, I can't believe I've just got it stuck. Give it a bump. Let's do that again. He's quite good at reversing. Let's take the back down. And then sell the animals. 
see how they, they get smaller. So now we've got 305,000. So we've got about 10 grand there, I think. Close the back up. And we can leave the course if it'll ever stop. Good job that's a no collision sign, isn't it? So they've got hung up on that and they've been awkward to get off. Of course, you've got to remember that I've got this lag with my keyboard that's really annoying, but I'm used to it, <laughs> sort of. I don't think anybody else will be able to play this on my computer because uh, it would just drive you up the wall. And now he's crashed. And because he's really at the end of the uh, of the course. But have you noticed that I did this as like an internal course? We just do as much of it as we can. Making sure that it's the nearest waypoint. This guy is ready. to go and swap his uh, bell fork over and perhaps even his big weights as well um, does not really need that big weight let's push it back just making sure that the uh, the light's still green so we're okay or else we would have had to put the big weight back on and the, the fork so it shows I'm not really thinking properly thinking things out yeah and to Chantry we are currently at Chantry bump And now we need to go to uh, the bio facility. Travel to Chantry. Right. I'll send him in a little while. I think. It's just really hard to find the courses. Let's go right to the top. Get him to go back to um, Chantry and back. We're going to end up at Colbra. Send him back to Colbra and then we'll send him from Colbra. Go the right way, is he? <coughs> there he goes. And uh, we cut off the corner of this field just to to prepare ourselves, I'll, I'll leave it actually, I won't cut anything, I'll just stop it here ready to do this. We was going to do a little um, project on this field, record the harvester course so that you can then 
continue on and bail behind it at any time you like because the um, harvester will lay down the straw in the same place every single time so long as you remember to service the harvester when you're first doing it so we'll just top up this water that's more than the top up isn't it I reckon the sheep are going to need about the same he's going to be just driving backwards and forwards all day long isn't he fill in the water mind you they're producing a lot of milk so I reckon logically thinking you would have to give them as much fluid to drink as you produce in milk in fact more because they'll use a, most of it in their own bodily functions where it will go out in the pee and their uh, poop and then they'll still have to have enough for the milk I was hoping that his wheels had just turned to the left I'll have to sort this this course out here backwards and forwards here I'll do it in uh, in a break re-record it in fact I know some people would like me to, s to see me making the recording so I might do that on camera as well just so that we can show it video in and off he goes back to go and get some more water right so this guy back here will drop off the weight couple of weights now that's in there lower it down drop it off we've actually got some corn out here that is just loose and dead in the uh, in the wagon so we might as well just to start off so we've got an empty wagon obviously this heavy tractor can pull that wagon without much of a do. Just to empty it. So we've got something for the harvesters to fill because I'll tell you what's in this other one is beets there's beets in this other one and in fact we'll take this with us just to fill, to top up and we'll leave this one over here we've got a spare um, that's a handbrake, stop <laughs> um, we've got a spare big wagon here for when I was doing canola, in fact I've got loads of canola on a field somewhere, I know that that I've planted and uh, that was in my notes, I saw it written down remember to do your canola next when you come back but did I do it? No I didn't and uh, this vehicle see I've got to redo this field, it needs replanting perhaps with beets I've got plenty of beets here though so we have no weight on the front of this tractor because we need to collect up and get inside these two positions slam the brakes on put the front header on first reverse to here and um, I don't think I can uh, use this manually 
I have to use it manually, so I don't think I can use it on the um, higher aware What we're going to do is we're just going to um, cut to the uh, cattle. We will take up some more animals, some pigs. And so we'll put this. That was good timing, that wasn't it? The way it just ran in there. Should probably wash this out because you don't want to transfer like foot and mouth between pigs. I don't know if they can transfer it, but you know, you have those blights, don't you? Maybe those should be in the game. <coughs> I can just steady this reversing business. Right, we will open the back door. I just saw it go down, and we just need to go a bit further in, I think. Yeah, there they go, three, four. Let's jump out and have a look. Uh, where are they? There they are. They're going underneath the, the unit. Ah, little piggies. And there's two. Look, there's two two levels of them. Twenty pigs. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. We'll just go and sort that water butt out, I think, if it's... Uh, Well, we need to send him as, as well off. We're going to end the video here and we'll come back and do these two vehicles and go and sort out the, uh, the pigs.